Hey guys, welcome to Battles Gaming and to another episode of my Far Cry 5 custom map series. In this series, I show you guys the maps that I create in the Far Cry 5 arcade and at the start of the year, I told you guys that this was going to be a bit of a diversified year in terms of content, not in terms of branching out into other games or creating more series, but rather using two series simultaneously to produce content for the Far Cry 5 custom map series. Basically, any new map that I create in 2023 will come to you as a speed build commentary, where I show you guys footage of the entire map build in process from start to finish and commentate over the top to give you guys my thoughts whilst I'm building the map. The other format, which is more of the older format that I did or have done for the duration of the channel, has been the map breakdown series, where basically I take you through a tour of the finished product in action, a bit of the map and what it's all about. And this is one of those maps that I built before 2023. I actually started building it in 2018. Some of you might be surprised to hear that, but that's mostly because there are a lot of times where I kind of just abandoned building on this map because I didn't think it was going to work out. And that is to do with some proportion issues that I had when building the map. I was trying to make it balanced and almost symmetrical from one side of the map to the other, but I kind of failed on doing so. And so I kind of just left this map to collect dust in my map editor for quite a long time. And I did even consider deleting it, but I decided, I think back in 2021, that I would persist with the map. And now it's finally here in August 2023, so a very, very long time since I started building the map, which I actually think I started building in August of 2018. So it's basically been exactly five years. Now, I do want to disclaim that I haven't been building this map over those five years. Like I said, I did kind of stop building on this map for a while, and I think the total map build time for this map is probably around 20 hours. So yeah, it's only about four more hours on top of what it took me to build Forest Friction. Although Forest Friction is something that I did in about three weeks. So yeah, not over five years. And what you're going to find interesting in this map breakdown, I think, is you'll see some parts of the map which probably don't look that great. And that's because when I built them, I was a far less experienced map editor. But now having worked on this map recently in terms of doing some final detailing for the map itself, you'll see some parts of the map that probably look a little bit more reminiscent of someone who's edited for a much longer time. So you're going to have two different styles in a sense from this map. So it's not going to be a masterpiece or anything like that by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still going to be a very interesting map to take you guys on a tour through. One more quick thing before I start this map breakdown video is I also want to thank you guys very much for the support you show me on the Forest Friction Speed Build commentary. The support has been really immense over the past month. We have gotten 100 views. We've steadily increased in the subscriber count for this community we've got going on here at Brattles Gaming YouTube. And yeah, a lot of you guys have been commenting on the video and thanking me for, I suppose, continuing the uh, speed build content. Uh, and I hope, yeah, I hope that I can continue to build from that video and continue to produce a lot more speed build commentaries for you so that you do have some speed build commentaries to watch and look forward to. But without any further ado, let's get into the map breakdown for my latest map in the Far Cry 5 arcade. This is Gondola. And I thought the easiest place to start this map breakdown video would be from one of the team's spawns. Now the thing about these spawns is they're symmetrical across both sides, so I'm only going to show you this spawn because there's really no point in showing the other spawn as it is indeed identical. And what I actually did here with the spawn area is I actually provided kind of like a little retreat, I suppose, for players when they spawn into the map. They have this little kind of retreat area that actually means that they can't physically get spawn killed. And the way I've done this is I found out a method where you can uh, basically allow players who spawn on this side of this bus to hop on over. But once they hop over this side of the map, and if any enemy is on this side of the map as well, they actually can't physically get back 
into this spawn area. And the way I did this is I used these kind of uh, metal scaffolds or metal bars and placed them on top of the bus to prevent climbing so that no one can actually climb up here. You can still kind of peak fire, I guess, to an extent, but you're gonna be very inaccurate. And you can, of course, throw grenades as well and dynamites and things like that. So it's not necessarily foolproof, but it's definitely gonna do a lot in terms of just reducing that pressure for any player when they spawn in. Now, if, it, if uh, an enemy does happen to push them up to here, the spawns will actually change. There are some shared spawn points to the side areas of the map. Uh, now those aren't exactly protected, but I feel like if the enemy team is pushing the other team up to this point, those shared, po those shared spawn points are just going to be able to alleviate this spawning area as well. So we come into the, I guess, gas station section here, or petrol station, whichever terminology you want to use, I suppose. And yeah. Basically what I tried to do with this map is I tried to make the area on either side of the canal, which is kind of the body of water down the center, exactly symmetrical. But as I mentioned in the introduction of this video, when I was trying to make it symmetrical, I had a few issues with the proportion where I'm pretty sure this part of the map is quite a lot bigger than that part of the map. It's not necessarily game breaking although at the time of building a few years ago I did think it was game breaking and so I just kind of gave up on this map because I wasn't really prepared to kind of redo that entire area all over again even though I thought I had made the size good <laughs> it didn't actually end up working that way what I do like about this part of the map though uh, which is very similar to the other side of the map is that you've got this really cool diagonal sight line and I've placed these sniper rifles on top of the gas station here to allow some long-range combat across the canal from these rooftops kind of like a rooftop sniping battle that you might be able to have with another person in the lobby and it also gives you a nice vantage point over the bridge itself before I get over to the bridge, I'm just going to show you guys this area over here, which is basically just an urban park for all the residents that live in the surrounding buildings of this little community. Uh, this community is, of course, based in Europe. Uh, I actually started building this map a little bit after I went on a trip to Europe in 2018. Uh, and I was inspired to build a European map, but I'm only actually releasing it now. As I said, I had a lot of issues with this map and I did consider deleting it at some points, but it wasn't until 2021 after probably not working on this map for like two to three years that I was like, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to try and fix it to the best of my ability. And that's what I did. And finally, I'm finally getting a European map out from my European trip. And this map itself isn't really based on any particular location that I went to in Europe, but it's just about borrowing uh, European concepts in terms of architecture and the way that the urban design there is designed. And you have a lot of walkable, pedestrian-friendly communities. I know that there's quite a lot of cars here. It's probably not the most realistic from a European sense. I mean, there definitely is still cars in urban environments in Europe but they're a lot less. And actually, I think I did an all right job with that because as you can see, this bridge is obviously just meant to be for pedestrians, not really for vehicles. This is kind of just a little area that allows vehicles to come into this community, but it's mostly just for pedestrians, which I feel like is a pretty big tenet of European urban design. And so here we have the service area behind the gas station. It just provides a little bit of closer to medium ranged engagement for the player if that's more their thing and you've got this flanking route as well which kind of ducks around the side here and goes from this side over to that side or you can just kind of go directly across the bridge or under the bridge as well and the really key thing that I tried to make about this map is that this map is basically split in half it's split in two and that's really going to create some, I suppose, some tense gameplay moments because, um, yeah, you really have a battle that's focused around the bridge, but otherwise the map is very split and more often than not, you're going to have to actually go into the water to cross from one side of the map to the other, 
which is just going to create a lot of tension because when you're in the water in Far Cry, there is really no way that you can fight back. I suppose you can actually dive down into the deep body of water here and hide, but I didn't put unlimited underwater breathing on, so if you do decide to do this, you're definitely going to have to return to the surface at some point. But yeah, I also really tried to detail this underwater section as best as I could. There are probably some parts of, the, of this uh, section that, is, that could still use some more detail, but I think I did a pretty good job, and this is probably actually where I spent the most amount of time in the map. Just detailing this underwater area, really trying to bring it to life with all sorts of things. Oh wow, <laughs> I actually do not remember putting that gun there. I completely forgot about that. That must have been something that I did a very, very long time ago. But you also have a floating medkit. Yes, there it is. I actually spawned that medkit underwater, but the funny thing about medkits I didn't know is that they actually rise to the surface of the water, which is actually pretty cool. Because, I don't know, I suppose they are buoyant in real life. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure some of them are, some of them aren't, but that's still a pretty cool thing anyway. And uh, I feel like a lot of the modifications I made to this underwater section, particularly in this part, especially with the rocks and all the different types of nature and the objects on the water and this kind of small little jetty over here were all things I added in the last year or so. So kind of things I added later because when I first started building this map in 2018, 2019, a lot of the underwater area was pretty barren. There wasn't really anything there. And that wasn't from lack of trying. It was mostly just because I was a little bit lazy. I didn't really want to spend a lot of time trying to detail that. But in the end, I decided I just had to because it is in the map. It is in the playable area. And if I didn't detail that and players were going to go underwater, it would definitely be the part of the map that wasn't very nice to look at. And I really try to make my maps really smoothed over the entire playable area in terms of you know the design and the detail so I didn't really want to neglect that area necessarily I still wanted to provide some niceness to it. Now I mentioned the bridge earlier I've kind of been evading it for the last few minutes but I will talk about this now and the thing about this bridge that you might not notice at first glance is that the middle part of it is actually destructible. This is actually something that I had for an idea of a map from a very long time, even before I went to Europe in 2018. I wanted to try and build a map centered around a bridge that could be detonated or basically destructed. And that would create, again, another really cool gameplay, uh, I suppose, um, a gameplay moment where once the bridge was destroyed, players really had to think about how they got from one side of the map to the other. And it would just make the gameplay a lot more tense uh, for players and bow teams. Because as you can imagine, once this bridge gets blown up, as I'm gonna demonstrate here, two dynamites is all it takes, as you can see. Once this bridge gets blown up, there's really no way, no way that you can cross apart from swimming to the other side. Because as soon as you try and jump from one side of the map to the other, Far Cry automatically places you into the diving animation. And uh, yeah, once you're in the water, you're very vulnerable. So it's kind of a risk reward sort of situation. You want to cross to the other side to get to the enemy team, but in doing so, you still want to be very careful that you don't do it at a point where someone's going to be maybe camping at this point here or vice versa on this point underneath here, uh, ready to take you out as soon as you jump into that water. Now, the whole bridge isn't destructible, only the middle part, uh, because I still wanted to keep part of the bridge intact, especially to create kind of this, you know, I guess pathway underneath the bridge that players could kind of take cover from. Uh, but also still wanted to keep some of this architectural niceness, I suppose. And uh, the kind of real kind of thing that probably jumps out to you is how unrealistic this bridge looks, especially when it is de destructed. As you can see, the bridge has been cut like a piece of cake or a cookie or something like that. Uh, it's very unrealistic. And again, it's not really from lack of trying. I did try to make this a lot more realistic, but Far Cry's map editor wouldn't let me. Whenever I tried to place the bridge broken debris objects into that destructible bridge, 
I kept getting a clipping error where my map wasn't going to be able to be published if I, you know, placed objects into the generic shape. So it does look very unrealistic. It's pretty glaring, but I decided it's, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, it's not so much about the looks, but it's more so about the design of the map and how it flows, especially when this bridge is destructed. It just creates another gameplay moment and that's something that I really wanted to do in this map to give it a little bit of a point of difference. And as we come back underwater, I like how when you blow up the bridge, the parts from the bridge actually fall down into the water and they stay there for the entirety of the map which just adds a little bit of extra detail that I don't actually have to put in myself the game does it for me so we'll return back to the service now and like I said this part of the map is pretty much symmetrical to the other it is a little bit smaller as I was saying earlier but it's probably not super noticeable and there's probably a few different details for example the structure over here and the park is a little bit different to what it is diagonally on the opposite side. And that was yeah, mostly because I had proportionately scaled the map incorrectly where this part was a lot smaller. So I had to get a little bit creative with what I placed here and where I placed it just to give the same amount of cover, but still not over cluttering the space, still making it easy for players to traverse through. Got Brattles Gaming YouTube signage there. And yeah, that's pretty much the map breakdown for Gondola. I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is just a nice short video, a quick little tour for you guys. Like I said, I started building this map in 2018 and any map I build before 2023 or that I started building before 2023 is just going to come to you guys as a map tour because at that time I didn't record any speed build footage for the map that I was making but any map or any new map that I start in 2023 is still definitely going to come to you as a speed build commentary but otherwise I'm Brattles Gaming I'm signing out now and remember to have yourselves a great day.